What I thought I need is a common question that we get asked, and it's a really difficult question to answer without seeing the current footwear you've got and what sort of pains you're getting, or if you're getting any pains at all, you just want more, more comfort in your shoes. So we'll work through one of the most common scenarios here to give you a little bit more information about how an orthotic can help to increase your comfort and decrease your foot pain. So most foot pain or discomfort is caused by a foot that abnormally operates or abnormally functions during the gait cycle or the walking cycle. So for example, a foot that mildly pronates or rolls towards the inside of the, the midline of the body will cause the foot to work harder in normal walking than a foot that doesn't pronate so much. So if we use this example, um, the type of orthotic that would help this foot that pronates is an orthotic that supports the medial arch of the foot and helps to cushion the foot. So much as in the same way that if we were walking bare feet on the hard concrete, um, wearing a shoe on the foot and then going walking would give the foot some more comfort and support and cushioning. This would lead to less foot pain. Adding an orthotic into the shoe to give the foot more support and more cushioning will make the foot more comfortable over time. So supporting and cushioning the foot will lead to less foot pain over time. The other thing that will also help to um, make a decision about which orthotic will suit your foot is the type of footwear you're wearing. So for example, if we're wearing a shoe that can accommodate a full length, really supportive orthotic that can add a lot of support and cushioning, then we should go with the largest orthotic that we can fit in the shoe and still have the shoe fit comfortably. Now this sort of full length orthotic will fit uh, really well in a, in a lace up men's jogger or women's jogger. Um, but it will not fit in every sort of shoe as it, as it takes up quite a lot of space and might bulk up the shoe and make it more uncomfortable. So what we do then is we say, well, if we can't fit the full length orthotic in the shoe, we might slide down to, this is the smallest orthotic that will still give some arch support. Um, and we add this under the arch of the foot. So all we're really getting from that one is just the arch support. We won't get any of the cushioning or any of the, or any of the heel support. As you can see, there's a heel cut out here, but we will fit an orthotic that's shaped like this in much more, a much wider variety of shoes, like ladies dress shoes, uh, slip on boots, or anything that we can't fit our full length orthotic in. So that's how we choose an orthotic for a non-custom orthotic. Um, there's also another range of orthotics that will help to support the foot and that's our custom made range of orthotics and what these ones are actually designed by a podiatrist and they will scan your foot and then adjust this orthotic to match your exact foot condition and then we'll try and fit this and keep this as bulky as possible because it's still the, the what we said before about the more bulk in the orthotic the more support and the more cushioning it has, we still try and keep the custom orthotic as bulky as possible as this will give the most support to the, to the patient's foot. Um, so there's lots of different ways we can support the foot with an over the off the shelf orthotic. Uh, and these are basically it depends on what sort of foot condition you're getting. Um, so if you're having a mechanical foot problem that needs more support and more cushioning, you usually go with the bigger orthotic and this will fit it in the shoe, and this will give you more support and more cushioning. But if that's not possible, we usually slide down, and then we look for a smaller orthotic, like the little slimline orthotic here, that will help to support the foot, but it'll, uh, you do lose a little bit of the cushioning and, and the um, support features when we do cut it down this much. Uh, I hope this has been helpful, and if you have any questions, please comment in the comment section below. Uh, we're more than happy to help out. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. It's very simple to do and it really does help us out. If you'd like more information on the topics discussed, please check out the links in the description and this will take you to our website where we can discuss these in more detail. If there's a specific question that you have or you'd like answered, please comment in the comments section and we'll do our best to make a video to address this. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.